Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Sunday, May 12th, 2024 at about a quarter to 10 in the morning. Um, I have the Jackery Explorer 1000 hooked up right now via uh, the 12 volt output and that is pulling 21 watts right now in my camper so that cord is a I think it's a five or a six foot cord and it comes to an XT60 connector female to male and then it goes to the wire that I hooked up into the camper last week and I showed you I have a few videos on that and so now with this Jackery um, I'm able to run the DC side of the house which is lights I've got the radio on you could hear it in the background I'm gonna lower it now they were southern draws you've ever heard the man so the radios working the lights work just to show you and We'll hit the slide out, which I know will work, because we did it with the uh, Blue Eddy AC200P last week. Um, so yeah, there you have it. This is a setup where um, I can be off-grid and still run the basic necessities like the water pump, the slide out, uh, the lights, the radio, etc in the camper with a battery inside. So this Jackery is a lot lighter and easier to put around. I could even put it inside this cabinet if I wanted to, to keep it out of the way. Actually, let's do that and see if it fits. Yep. Okay, so it fits in the cabinet right there and you know the door doesn't close all the way but that's fine I could roll that wire out of the way and hook it up or I could just run it under the carpet here up the side wall and just keep the jackery on the counter there uh, because it gives us um, when I have it out like this it gives us the ability to plug other stuff into it like our phones and stuff like that so there it is on the counter Try to give you guys a shot just so you can see the what it looks like this is the kitchen area the slide out now is not it's in so when the slide out is out you got another you know three feet plus here of room and then the uh, whole seating area is open with the ottomans here on the left and the right um, so let's hit the slide out just to show you guys when I hit this button out, you'll hear the slide out uh, go out, start going out, and then the, the wattage will climb up on the jackery. So there you see, I started moving it out, and now I'll move it back in. Just to show you guys that it's working off of the Jackery Explorer 1000 battery. And there you go. So yeah, I'm excited about this. Um, for two reasons number one I've got the Jackery that I could run it with which is a lot easier to carry around and two I have the the Bluetti AC P, AC 200p so I have two batteries now at my disposal so one can be um, being charged via solar panels the other one can be running the camper and then I could switch them uh, I, or I could use the Jackery uh, for you know things like our cell phone and stuff like that over by the bed area and then run the entire camper with the uh, Blue Eddy AC 200p so I have uh, options with two units like that and so my next 
goal or my next endeavor is to I'm gonna put a uh, drill a hole through the camper there right in the kitchen area and put a port a small like two inch hole in it and run be able to run in the MC4 uh, solar charging cables into the camper while I have the panels sitting outside in the sun uh, the the uh, glass panels or the foldable panels that I have and therefore while this is running the camper off grid if the sun is out and I can get power I could have the solar panels out simultaneously charging either the Jackery or the Blue Eddy because they will both do pass-through charging so you could charge these and they could still be running uh, the camper at the same time so I could negate the power going out that I'm using with the power coming in from the Sun which on the Blue Eddy I could put up up to 700 watts the Jackery Explorer I'm not sure I've got to double check how many watts the Jackery 1000 can take but I know it can take at least um, 200 watts so of input but I got to double check because I haven't done it in a while but so and then also just to let you guys see here I purchased just in case I needed it a 10 foot XT60 cord with a, a, ma a female end and a male end and that is so that if I had to you know plug the battery in from the panel here I could run the battery into the back of the coach um, with the cord just you know move it out of the way and have the battery back where we were going to use it or plug other stuff into it so I bought that 10 foot cord because I thought it would be uh, good to have so I could increase the I could even run the uh, cord and bring the unit outside and have it running the camper inside and then still use the unit outside to plug other stuff in so there's options so I bought that cord I think it was like 16 or 17 bucks and then this this cord was about the same they were under 20 bucks uh, good well made uh, you know heavy gauge wire I think it's 12 a a w g wire um fits perfect hooked it up the only thing i had to do was turn on my battery kill switch that's on the outside uh that i have a, a key for and um it enables the power to start running to the panel so that's the video i wanted to do today from the uh, forest river r pod uh, 179 showing that um i can run the camper with my two batteries that I have my two solar chargers and um, again I wouldn't probably run this try to run the Dometic refrigerator off of that but I could and I do have a Dometic portable refrigerator in the van that runs off a 12 volt that only pulls like 45 watts um, when it's when the compressors on so I could bring that in here easily and um, plug it into one of my batteries and run that refrigerator off grid without running the van or the uh, RV refrigerator. So the thing that I want to stress in this video is that what I'm doing is I'm setting myself up you know for camping season of course to go off grid to have fun and to be able to run the RV off of the batteries but what I'm also doing is in, in practicing and ensuring that I have um, the ability to do this in the event of a you know a grid down scenario uh, or something like they're touting this weekend with the you know the sol the uh, solar flare from the Sun and all the hype they did on the uh, 10th and 11th uh, of May um, that I can be able to uh, sustain myself off grid for a you know a length of time if I had to in this RV so that is another reason why I go through these exercises and I make sure I have everything in house before uh, the actual events happen actually this um, 
this ceiling fan. Let's see if this works. This should work. Forgot all about it. There we go. So I just opened it up. And now I will we'll turn it on. And there we go. So right now I'm pulling air. And I got three speeds on this fan. I'm pulling air through the coach. And let's go check the wattage. Probably very negligible. Here, 21 watt, 27 watts I'm pulling right now. I shut the lights and the radio, so that's really nothing uh, for this Jackery 1000. So now I could run some fresh air uh, through the, the RV using that fan. And I could already feel it pulling the air from the uh, from the window here up through uh, the door can stay closed in the bathroom and the air still goes over the top there. So again, that's something else I forgot that ran off the 12 volt. The DC side is the ceiling fan, the exhaust fan. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Uh, stay ready and um, do all your gear testing and all of your um, all of your needs to be off grid have all the options in house and available to you in the event you do have to use them in an emergency and then also have them for leisure activities as well uh, thanks for watching take care and stay ready